Hey guys, Little Cool Gamer here, and um, today I have a video of a diecast car that I restored, <clears throat> and it was originally <clears throat> really beat up, chipped up, and the windows were gone, and the wheels were messed up. But um, you'll see the results in a, in um, s pretty soon here after I get done saying a couple things. So first off, I'm trying a new, like I'm just recording this on my camera roll, not on the video, not on the recording app I had originally. So it's probably going to be a little bit different, um, but I am going to edit it later, so it might look a little better. Anyways, um, so thank you for watching. I, I, um, one thing I wanted to say first was that... I haven't been able to upload because the old recording app I was using, it wasn't letting me. I don't know what was happening. It was just going wrong, so. I have a lot of content, but I haven't been able to upload it for you guys, so sorry about that. And, uh, thanks for watching the videos I do have out. It's really appreciated. So, uh, you guys probably want to see the car right now, but first, I want to show you, um, what it looked like before. Alright, so that was pretty beat up, right? So, um, <clears throat> that wasn't my car, but that's pretty much exactly what it looked like, except for the windows were missing, and it was a little more scratched up than that. So, the reveal is coming right now. So, here is the car after. So, this is the same Ferrari Dino as before, and, um, so what happened was, uh, one day I found this car, I picked it up, I decided to restore it, so I sanded it down, and I painted it black, and it, it looked horrible, and so, a while later, like, um, a few months later, or something like that, I decided to pick it up again and then just respray it red and just do the whole thing a lot better because I know I could have done better. It didn't even roll before, but now. But, well, now the rear wheel has a little bit of drag on it, but it rolls a lot better than it did. And uh, it was really sloppily done. I just painted it with, like, a marker. Uh, it looked terrible. And uh, so the refreshed version... I think is a lot better. Um, it's in a new red coat. And it's still, like, it's on the final stage of drying right now. It's not um, fully dried, but it is safe to, like, pick up and, and move around like this. So, uh, where do we start? The front... Um, so, here's the A-pillar, um, so that was bent, I did try to reshape that, it looks alright now, less bent than it was, um, and the window, so that was practically missing, pretty much all gone, all cracked up and scratched, and so I found another diecast car window, and it was exactly the same fit. And I actually had that one, like, I was talking about the black, like, how I had it in black. It, it, I had two of these windows. So, like, the first one, it was, I cracked it in half, and it was glued together, and it looked horrible. Um, the side, the wheels, I just colored those in silver. And, yeah, they, they are a bit small. I really wanted to wheel swap this, but I didn't have any other wheels, because... All the good wheels that I could have used are like in cars that I that I didn't want to drill apart or anything like that. So just going for the stock ones, even though I may pry this apart sometime and redo them. Probably not, but it is a restoration. It's not a custom, so those wheels are fine for now. No back glass like it had originally, but it was cracked and yellowed anyway, so it's not that big of a deal like the front window. This thing didn't come with taillights, 
so I didn't bother painting them in. Besides, they were red anyways. And uh, this back piece license plate, that was, I, that's still colored in from the old black one. I didn't, I forgot about that, that I put that on there, so that's still there. Um, the chrome, I colored in. And, uh, the interior. Now, this is where it gets good. The interior was originally black. Well, I had painted the interior black with golden seeds, which was, as you can imagine, it was horrific. But I'm trying to scroll in there so I can get a good pick up the interior. A bit better. I don't know. Well, you can't really see in there, but uh, maybe through the front glass. So I added a steering wheel that I found. Um, I glued it onto the dash. I glued a like a little piece of like metal wire onto the dash for like a like a dashboardish like a grab bar. S some little chrome highlight in there I thought would look nice. And then the same using the same material I made that stick shift which is pretty easy to see. You can see that pretty well on there. So yeah, that is oh yeah. Uh also, these headlights are colored in. It's not the best job, but definitely looks better. And the base, I just spray painted like metallic silver. Uh, this wheel is, I don't know, got in some red or something. So it is in some places a little rough around the edges, but I know it is my very first restoration other than the old one where I had a black, which was just terrible. So practically my second restoration. So it's not bad for that. And I wish I could replace these wheels because the ride height and the size is not good. But yeah, that is the Dino restoration. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, thank you for watching Little Cool Gamer. Sorry if this was a bit long for one car. May have been for some of you guys. So, um, let me know in the comments if you think this thing is any good. And, uh, I have a list. So, another reminder, I have a ton of content for you guys, but I can't upload it because it's just glitched or something. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time on Little Cool Gamers.